Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Friday, January 26, 2024. Ethereum Attestation Service releases a MetaMask snap. Solidity releases compiler version 0.8.24. Farcaster introduces frames. And Espresso Systems integrates with the Arbitrum Nitro tech stack. All this and more starts right after this message. This episode is sponsored by Harpy, an on-chain security solution for Ethereum-based wallets. Harpy helps you detect and prevent malicious transactions before they execute, safeguarding your assets from theft in real time. Secure your wallet for free at harpy.io forward slash ETH daily. The Ethereum attestation service released a new MetaMask snap designed to translate attestation data from its original hexadecimal format into a human readable format that's easier to understand. The MetaMask snap can be found and activated through the MetaMask snap directory. The snap parses data and allows users to read an attestation before signing it with their wallet. MetaMask snaps are extensions that enhance the capabilities of the MetaMask browser wallet, allowing developers to create more flexible integrations. Ethereum Attestation Service is an open source protocol for generating on-chain and off-chain attestations. Solidity released version 0.8.24 of its compiler in preparation for Ethereum's Cancun network upgrade. The release features support for new opcodes and precompiles introduced by Cancun, such as transient storage, shard blob transactions, blob base fee, and mcopy. Some changes from the upgrade will affect existing contracts. The new release adds full YOL level support and custom Solidity level functions. It also includes a universal macOS binary compatible with ARM-based Macs. The compiler release can now run natively on the Apple Silicon architecture. The Cancun upgrade is currently anticipated to go live as soon as March 2024. Farcaster introduced Frames, an integration for turning static web content on a cast into an interactive experience. Developers can use Frames to create polls, live feeds, and responsive commands for their apps directly in a cast. The integrated experience allows users to interact with apps without leaving their Farcaster client. When a user clicks a button in a frame, Farcaster generates a frame action signature using the user's account key. The signature is then sent to the frame's server, which records the user action and renders the results as an image. The frame server then sends the result image back to the Farcaster client. Farcaster is a Web3 social graph protocol running on OP mainnet. And lastly, Espresso Systems integrated its Espresso sequencer with the Arbitrum Nitro tech stack on its GibRaltar testnet. Developers can now deploy an instance of the Arbitrum stack with the Espresso sequencer on testnet. Caldera will launch the first Arbitrum Nitro chain integrated with the Espresso sequencer coined as Milan. The Espresso sequencer is a fast finality layer for processing rollup transactions. In other news, Beisu releases version 24.1.1, Favor integrates XMTP, and Balancer releases a STIP update. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing on CastBox and following us on X at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you on Monday.